Hello everyone, it is Cube Gaming here and today I'll be showing you how to make a Java Bedrock Crossplay server for free and it's current. So first of all we are going to go to Edge and Eternos.org. Once we are on the website, go to play and then sign up if you are making a new server. So for the time being I'm going to take any name. Let's make it test YT server. Is it taken? No. Yep, it's taken. So we'll add some random numbers. Then into the password, which in my case is this. Now you want to create a Java server, not a Bedrock server. Once you have the Java server, go to the software from here, or the other option is here. I'm going to use this one. So, we want spygot slash bucket for plugins. And 1.17.1. Install. Once you have installed bucket, uh, bucket slash spygot, go into the plugins tab and write Riser MC. Once this has done installing, you will see a check mark here. Go into options, and if if you have an hack client like T Launcher, AT Launcher, SK Launcher, or any other launcher like that, go into this tab and turn on crack. This is the moderation tab. You will get every option here. Moderation can be done from here. For additional moderation, go into console after the server has started. So now what we going what we want to do is start the server. So once this server is starting. So this is the first start, so it will take some time. We want to go into software, uh, plugins, plugins, not software, and add via version. The top latest version, and then via backwards. Via rewind. These three um, plugins are optional. If you want to add them, you can add them. If you don't want to add them, then let it be. These three plugins allow you to join from any version on the game. But this is only applicable for Java. If you are in Java and these plugins are there, then you can join to any version from 1.1 to 1.18, which is about to be released. Now we will be waiting for the server to start. Till that is happening, you can go ahead and start your game. I'm going to cut from here and I will meet you when my game is on and everything has started. So now as you can see the server has started but we have had three plugins after we have told the server to start. So we need to restart the server and my game has also started. There will be no cut right now. It's straight up server starting for some time.
the first start was to speed up the process of while loading and other stuff. First start takes the most time in server starting, so yeah. Now this is the second start, so it should take less time than the first start. If you want to connect to the server, then go to multiplayer and hit multiplayer, proceed, and then this is where you need to add the server. You can name it every anything for on my side. I'm gonna name it Geyser IP server. You can name it anything you want. As for the IP, you need to copy this IP. Make sure you copy the port. That's the only way you can connect to the server. If your port is not there, then you cannot connect to the server. And it's applicable on Bedrock too. You just need to change the port on Bedrock. So, right now I'm gonna copy the server IP. And done. So as you can see, the server has started. And if I refresh now, it should be online. Yes, as you can see, the server is online. This is the same IP there. I can actually customize the welcome message and other stuff from option. So I'm gonna delete it. Then you can keep anything. I'm gonna just do this YT server. That will work. Now if I refresh, on the next start it will be your normal server, like the message will come. So as you can see I am in the game and my FPS is quite low for some time. It will happen. I have not yet implemented the FPS boosters and stuff. Now I'm getting a stable, non-stable FPS of box. Anyway, so this is my Java client, and right now I do not have my Bedrock client, so I can't really show you how to connect to Bedrock. But I will send a pic how to connect to Bedrock after the video. Let me just see if I can call my friend on the server. He's not busy then. 
I can also show you that. So right now I do not have any medium to show you how to connect in the graph, but I think you should know just copy this IP address and instead of port 198 or default whatever the port is, we need to keep this port. This, port. this IP address without port and then this port. So anyway, that was the video guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe and share for more. And as for the last announcement, I'm gonna change my name, YT name, YouTube name, from Cube Gaming to ZNRT Game because there's already a channel named Cube Gaming which has a hundred subscribers, so you can't really see me if you search for my name. Anyway, have a nice day and bye bye. I'll see you later.